Hey guys, so today I'm gonna teach you guys how to keep a nigga. <laughs> I'm prolific, so gifted. I'm the type that's gonna go get it. Hey guys, so we're back another day. So we were supposed to vlog yesterday, but we actually didn't vlog yesterday because it was just a very gloomy day, chill day. It was like blah, whatever. We had planned on going to a park. But when I had like GPS park, like big parks, like as I would like if I was in Brooklyn, like it would lead me to like a big park, grass, swings, this, that, slides, you know? Um, no, actually the first park was like a bunch of trees and woods, like grass and stuff. It was like no park, like, so I'm like, okay. So I put in another address for a park and that park was like kind of like a neighborhood park where you know like if you buy like a park from walmart and you kind of like build it in your backyard and everything is like plastic it was kind of like that yeah so that was the second part yeah so um kimani was sleeping the whole car ride so we basically just like kind of drove around it was just like senseless so I didn't really want to vlog. I was just um, listening to music or whatever. It was nothing really to vlog, honestly. So now we have a little day ahead of us. We are heading to the bank right now. And then we're gonna go and get Manny's haircut. We have to pick up a few things from the store. And yeah. All right, so we just came from the barber shop and it's closed. How is that? Aye? I wanted to draw. Yeah, so I guess Kimani won't be getting his haircut today because the guy that, um, was gonna cut his hair is actually from Flatbush from Brooklyn so I kind of felt more comfortable with you know him cutting his hair I mean we'll give him a shape up because I don't really know anybody else out here in Atlanta so yeah I guess he won't be getting his hair cut hey guys so we're doing a TikTok video all right oh this is good money look you smiling Come, move over a little bit. Yeah, right there. Back up a little bit. Okay, ready? Get it, Hunter. You're not smiling. I don't have to smile. Smile. I want you to smile. I want you to look like you're having fun. I'm not having fun. <laughs> Mani, stop. You are having fun. <laughs> you just say that. Come on, let's do it again. <laughs> Why'd you do that? That was not me. Who is that? Stay right there. Face is Stay right there. Okay. Smile, okay? Okay. We're not like that, because we'll do it over. Ready? Uh -huh. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 
Alright. This is the process. Ready? Uh -huh. Stop. Stop. Your face again, money. Oh. And that's what I reminded you. In the beginning, you were smiling. Come. Mommy, come. Look, when you look, when you look up, look, you throw, look up to the left. So turn your head to the left, look up, and this then. This is the left. I mean the right. Oh, you know you're looking your right. So look, you throw, look up, look, look this way, and look up. And then come down on the left, okay? You got it, you're good. Doing good. Well, Alright, one more time. One more time. Come on, turn around. Do it two more times. One more time. Make sure you smile and make sure you look to the right. Sure. Ready? Get it, Hunter. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Get it, Hunter. Hey guys, so I wanted to come and let, and tell you guys about my 30 day, like basically I've been here for 30 days, I've been in Atlanta for 30 days, um, so I just wanted to let you guys know like what's been going on, like an Atlanta life update kinda, you know, so so yeah, um, let me wash my hands, hold on. All right, so basically I moved into my place on February 5th. Today's like March 8th. And it's been pretty good, honestly. Like, I'm glad that I made the move. I'm not homesick at all. Um, I'm not really missing anybody at all. Sorry to say. Um, yeah, so it's basically like, it's been like really good. Um, I will say I haven't started working yet, but I did give myself um, a month to start working. Um, I did have an interview like the day I came here, but unfortunately it was not in God's plans for me to have that job. So I didn't get the job. So, um... So um, I was just looking for other jobs and just trying to prepare myself um, and just trying to like get um, my son situated before I actually um, start working because I didn't want to like have a job and then as soon as he gets into school I don't really have time for this or that or whatever the case is or I'm trying to figure out oh who's going to pick him up off the school bus oh who's this who's that so basically I just gave myself a month to kind of try to get things situated and try to get into a routine with him so that when I do get a job I could look for a position to where like it'll work around my schedule kind of and I could kind of choose what shifts I want to work and whatever like that so um, I think that it's it has really been a benefit me not working like immediately, especially having a child. So um, I would recommend like anybody that's moving here with kids, um, if you're a single parent or if you do if you're married or you are with a partner. If you're with a partner, it'll obviously be easy easier because you know you guys could work together trying to figure it out. But me just you know being the only parent in the household, moving to Atlanta was kind of hard. Um, for those people, I would recommend to just save up as much money as you can so you could have your bills paid for the time that you do take off to kind of regulate with your kids because I feel like your kid's schedule is way more important than you risking a job 
trying to oh um oh i can't i gotta leave i i, I thought that i would only be here till two o'clock and it's i'm here my schedule says four today i gotta get my kid off the bus you know just a lot of different stuff so that's what i didn't want to happen so that's why i did set it up how i set it up so i honestly have not been looking for um any jobs have not been looking for any jobs um after that interview um i actually i didn't continue to look for jobs or whatever and i honestly think that was a sign from god me not getting that job because one it was a little far from my house and you know atlanta traffic is the worst so and then two um like like i was saying i don't know how that would have worked with my son's schedule if i had gotten that job so um i think it was just basically a sign just basically saying you know get your life together get situated and then worry about work and um i could afford it so i'm kind of glad so i'll call it a bum bumcation so basically i was literally like just handling things making sure everything was right for the first month of me um being here and now that that's over and my month is up i gotta get on my grind and start um getting some content out there for you guys and getting my business together and just you know working and doing whatever i need to do to kind of get back to the bag so um yeah so basically i have um I have a job interview tomorrow and I just spoke to the guy and um yeah so I'm just focused on that and that's that and that's on that and that's on period so hopefully basically the position is the assistant manager position and hopefully I could do mornings and I could open up the store or whatever and um hopefully I could do that like every day and also, he has basketball practice on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. It's looking kind of good or whatever. It's looking good. So, I just hope that everything goes well with this job interview. And that's on it. So, yeah. So, um, yeah. Um, I haven't really been social or anything like that, so I can't really say that I've really met anybody new. The only people that I like that I've been hanging out with, I've met before. Like I've met when I came to Atlanta to visit and stuff like that. So I really haven't met anyone new, like since I've moved here. Um, so I don't really have much new friends because I really haven't been out on the scene like that. I haven't found a nanny that um really you know does it for me so but that's in the process so yeah um but other than that like the people that i've been talking to and stuff like i already knew from like i met them before or i knew them from new york so yeah So yeah, basically that's it. Um, so life is great, life is going good. Um, I would honestly recommend like Atlanta as a place to like, if you wanna start over or you feel like New York or any busy city that you live in is just like too much congested, congested and like, you know, things like that. I would definitely recommend um, Atlanta. The only thing, the only problem that I've ever had and I have really, honestly, that's not even a, really a problem that I have had. Um, but a lot of people complain about traffic. That's really the only thing. And I never really ran into traffic like that where it's heavy and I'm like sitting in it for hours. Like I haven't experienced that yet. So, and I hope I don't. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's really it, honestly. So, um, I'm going to catch you guys in the next vid. And stay tuned. Comment below. Comment whatever you want. Even if it's a positive comment, negative comment. <laughs> comment, <laughs> okay? And like this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel. So that you know when I upload, alright? I'm gonna catch you on the flip side later.
Who you with? I'm with the lions and gorillas, gang bangers and drug dealers. All them skimmers and them killers who I hang with. Yeah, it tastes good.